Now that the software is downloaded and activated and you've set up your MLS, it's time to go ahead and learn how to navigate through this tool. Using this tool is pretty simple and really uses basically one ribbon of buttons and some tabs underneath to do all your controls. So let's walk through where those are and what they look like so you can learn the basic navigation of the tool before we jump into actually using each of the steps. The very first thing when it comes to navigating the visual pricing system is at the very start. When you first open the program, you're going to see this message. Now I'm showing you this on a Mac. You'll see a very similar message on a PC. We want to make sure we click enable macros. Macros allow the visual price system to do most of its functions. Okay, so this is your first opening page. You've noticed up here there is not any ribbon. We want to make sure we see the ribbon or the buttons at top. In order to do that, we want to select visual pricing here. Sometimes Excel does that automatically, sometimes it decides not to. So we're going to go ahead and click there, and now you can see all the buttons that we have to use. Okay, so this kind of program is really built around using the only the buttons when you need them. So for example, if I click on patterns here, and I already had some data that I put in here before, and we'll go over what that is before, but in patterns, if I click on the create graph options, there really isn't anything to do because it doesn't, that actually is used later on. So for the patterns, all you have to really know is that you're going to click this button to always come back to the very first page. And then down here in the bottom, you will see the tabs that will allow you to navigate between different times of sell graphs, buying patterns, and odds. Now again, notice what just happened. We lost our visual pricing thing. I wish we could make Excel keep this open. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. Always click on that again to bring the controls back. Now to navigate to the next step in the process when we go through this, we'll go to the pricing page. This pricing page will open up this information, which now allows us to use the different dialog boxes um, and how to use those we'll go over later when we go through each step of this process. But just know that there's some things that you get to use, like the unselect properties or select properties on different graphs, that if you click them in other places, you'll get an error message. That just means that they're not actually enabled there because they don't really do anything in that function. Likewise, when you go to position, you can see these other things here that we'll go over uh, in more depth as we go through using that. But that's the basic navigation you're going to go through. These buttons up top will take you between the three different sections. The start here button allows you to upload your pricing data. The upload positioning button allows you to upload positioning data. And then these here are all about adding user properties and sorting the data sheet. The other buttons we have here, the Visual Pricing Academy, brings you right to the YouTube and the Visual Pricing Academy playlist. And the Settings button lets you change some of your configurations. In each of these little button areas that you go between, Patterns, Pricing, and Positioning, you will find the tabs along the bottom that allow you to navigate between different charts. So that's how you navigate the Visual Pricing System. Uh, very quick and easy to do. Now we're just going to jump into the next video where we're going to start actually using it and we're going to start with this start here button and uploading your export.